Howdy, peeps. It's uh, Thursday, August 17th, 2017. Uh, believe it or not, Bitcoin is down a lot from where it was earlier today. We broke another record at 44-something. Ah, it was a record. I think we actually broke two in one day. We're going to go check it out. Um, Forty-four seventy-seven thirty-three is where we were at seven ten a.m. this morning. Pretty cool, huh? Brand new record, big jump last night. And I came down, I looked down, it went right back up. 44.75.03. And it came down and back up. 44.73.33. I don't know what all these 33s are about. But that's the standing record as of right now. 44, $4,477.33. We have gotten no higher. Um, the advanced chart, it's two weeks, one day. Big fall right here. This, that's a big one, man. That's a big sell off right there. Uh, looks like $170. about $170 and then came we tried the market tried to adjust itself but we got another sell off right here and that's about a hundred dollars so wow big tank there and just like this time yesterday it's uh, pushing back up readjusting hopefully this right here doesn't become the latest big sell-off. Well, that should be updated by the time when we get down here and uh, we'll come back and check it. But wow, what a day, huh? Up to 44. A little crash, big crash actually, and then an adjustment. We were okay for a while. There's the support there. And, uh, I think we're going to be alright on this latest one. I guess time will tell her. Let's go see Ethereum. Ethereum got back up and it looks like it's staying back up. It's at 300 and kind of staying at 300. Although it has adjusted. It was up to 310 early this morning, 5.30 a.m. And um, so Ethereum was on its way to the moon, and then uh, a bit of a sell off right here. And now it looks like it's going to adjust back down to 300. Litecoin. It's up a little tiny bit. Uh, compared to what it was earlier today, it did fall all the way down to another 33. $43.33. What is going on with the 33s? Uh, Litecoin did go over that magic, uh, no, no, it was 44.50, it hit a little bit above there, 44.66. Still has not broken that $45, and I, I still say this is a good time to buy Litecoin. Um, all right, let's 
Let's uh, go see where everybody stands on the uh, relative chart. Bitcoin is number one, of course. Ethereum is number two. Both of those are down. Bitcoin is down one and a half percent from 24 hours ago. <coughs> and Ethereum's a little, a uh, little over one percent down from. 24 hours ago. Bitcoin Cash, humongous jump here, 50%. Wow. Bitcoin Cash, BCH is on the move and now all the way up to $450.22. Look at Bitcoin Cash go. That's a surprise. I didn't know that was happening today. Wow. 49.96% jump for Bitcoin Cash. Someone has got to be happy. That's it. We got to go see what's happening in Bitcoin Cash. Let's take a closer look here. Wow. 50% jump. This appears to be it. Bitcoin, was, Bitcoin Cash was steadying out. At, and then this morning, 10.30 this morning, it said no more of this. Jumped up to 386 and has been making its way higher ever since. <coughs> wow. Well, you go Bitcoin Cash. What can I say? Let's go back and take a look. Bitcoin Cash is now in third place on the top coins. IOT is down one, no, 3.77%. OMG is down 3%. Litecoin, we already went over Litecoin, that's in sixth place. Dash is in seventh, and that's up about a point and a half. Uh, Ripple's down 1.62%. EOS is down 4.38%. Monero is down 2.18%. Edna, nobody's performing here except Bitcoin Cash. I don't know if there was some kind of news or what, but um, everyone is suffering. Look, everybody's in the red except Dash. It's just up a little bit, and Bitcoin Cash is, is stealing the show here, and it keeps going higher. Since we've opened this page, it is up another point and a half. 51.27% higher than yesterday. And a 7.49 billion market cap. Wow. Looks like it's so on cracking. <clears throat> I don't know, are people going to continue to ride that wave up higher? We'll see. We shall see. Let's go back to Bitcoin and see what... Yep, the market's moving back up, so that's good. Let's take a closer look here. This is one hour. I think that's where we went away in, in, in that little bit of time. Market has come up and is readjusting back down. It wants to hit $4,300. We'll see what happens, man. Not a whole lot of vibe. No, there was in this little sell-off here. It's 7.45, just a half hour ago. Other than that, it must be, that must have been a big sell there. It's a one day chart. This is one week. Bit of 
another crazy week. There's our new record. There's one month. Three months. August has been nothing but up. That's not three months. Yeah, it is. Six months. Every six months chart here. To the right of this line I'm making is August. To the right of this right here is July. This is June. This is May. This is April. This is March, past six months. So we have horizontal, horizontal, big moves in May. Yeah, it's horizontal in June. Very volatile in July. And nothing but up in August. So, you know, all these crashes that seem like the end of the world, when you look at a six-month or one-year chart, they're barely even noticeable. This one, of course, will always be noticeable. That is the June, no, that's the July 15th crash to $1,900. From three thousand to nineteen hundred, uh, it's just nothing but down. But we recovered from that, so that's really the only thing. And this this bump here is quite apparent back in you know, whatever month that was. Let's look at three years. <laughs> I never look at this chart so I'm kind of memorized by it. Mesmerized. Memorized. I as a dumb I as. Anyway, Bitcoin is at 42.95.73. Um, uh oh, I just moved the camera. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, if you're still with me, peace, brothers and sisters.